Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Oceans 13. What'd you think of 12 and 11? I liked them. I feel like the whole heist aspect was really creative. Um, and I think that I want to say the first and second films, 11 and 12. Sure, yeah. Um, were both very different from each other, which was cool. Yeah, so I had ended up not seeing 12 before we recorded it. And it, it was definitely different. I think uh, 11 focuses a lot more on the crew and 12 kind of focused a little bit more on specific characters. Mm -hmm. Um, so we didn't get too much crew action, but I still thought it was a clever and fun movie. I definitely think 11 is much better and I have seen 13. It's been a very, very long time. I do remember a couple of parts. So I think the majority of the movie is going to be still a surprise for me because I just don't remember, but I know enough that this will only be your first time watching. Yes, yeah, and I haven't seen this at all any part of it. I don't know who's coming back besides who was on the movie poster, which might've been everyone. I wasn't really paying that much attention. I definitely saw at least George Clooney on there, but I guess you can't have oceans anything without. Ocean. Ocean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm really excited to watch this. Um, the third one in the trilogy. A lot of people have also mentioned maybe we should go back and watch the original as well. Yeah, I honestly didn't even know there was an original. So Neither that was did I. cool to know. <laughs> but yeah, so there's that. And then there's also a prequel in the works, I think with Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie, I believe. And then there's a sequel, I believe in the works with maybe the ocean crew returning. So That'd be awesome. there, there could potentially be a lot more oceans, but for now, this would be the end of our oceans journey. Yeah. So I'm really excited to get into this one. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Twitter, or Instagram, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Dang, who's got a safe like that? Ooh. That's cool, you can see through it. Where is it? Gotta go. Just abandoning? I guess so. Does she understand? It's not their fight. Back Vegas. to Vegas. Hey, where are Tess and Isabel? It's not their fight. Whoa. So that's what they were talking about. Give me some credit for my business, Sacho. Huh? I just don't think it's a good idea. Neither does Rusty. Partner! Ruben! Oh, oh Al Pacino. Are there more items for my punch list? I got so much energy, I can hardly sleep. He's so tan. Very orange. Me and Willie Bank been around long enough that we both shook Sinatra's hand. Screw Sinatra's hand. Tang. You're dead weight. You think I'm gonna carry you and pay you at the same time? Seems like Ruben's done a lot. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do, throw me off the roof? No, well, I don't want to. This is all wrong. Tang, he got screwed. You're leaving me with nothing. He's already struggling. You changed the name. I like it better. Dang, just put him in the hospital. I'm gonna get close to bank and I don't care if it gets messy. We'll get him leaving his barber. Good, then I'll inject him. Yeah, and I'll find a spot to get rid of the body. Damn. <laughs> Great initiative. You come at me, you better know. I move quick, and when I do, I slice like a goddamn hammer. Hammers don't slice. <laughs> He's made the right choice, roll over and die. Oh. All right, you're given a chance. It's gonna be very satisfying to watch them take it down. Uh, yeah. Six months though. This takes a lot of planning. Run it for me. Don't leave anything out. Where should we start? start with the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> they have such great back and forth. Yeah. He's built this place for whales. It's a shoe win for the Five Diamond Award. In the villas for his big players, the silverware is actually gold. Jeez. Greatest strength is also his weakness. Ego. We're gonna have to let you go. Turn in your uniform. Oh. I only gained four pounds. Four pounds? But Miss Sponder. Oh no, baby doll. It's your butt that's the problem. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> if they were waitresses. Yeah, they're actually hired as models who serve. I've heard that before. Soft opening, grand <laughs> opening. When they opened the Flamingo, one day it was closed, the next day it was open. <laughs> <laughs> so simple. So he has to clear 500 million in the first quarter 
or he gets dumped out of his own hotel. Whoa, really? We found out who'd be reviewing the hotel. We're gonna get to him before bank can. Oh. No. Okay. <laughs> but you gotta make sure they win because these guys usually lose. It doesn't matter if we win. As long as the casino loses, yes, yes. <laughs> so you need to rig. Craps, blackjack, roulette, slots. Damn. Not really a lighter. Oh. Kind of start at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> These guys do everything. Can I conditionado? Este way. I guess I'm Put your mask back on. Very grosso. Mi nombre. We've embedded Livingston in the shuffle company. They did a lot in six months. Name, birth date, so on. So that those levels will match the stress level of your false answer. Here's your birth date, February 11th. Oh, he's just jamming himself. Yeah, the bass lines. I love technology. Because to look at you, I'd swear you were being evasive. <laughs> Machine says you're clean. I'm just a little nervous. <laughs> Freaking sweat. So much pain. Which figures the probability of where the wheels will land within three digits. Yeah, we, we tried to. Ooh. The <laughs> mustache. <laughs> Fairness. The way he was dressed didn't help. Not very subtle. <laughs> He's not subtle. Well, that didn't work. Second part. We tie Frank to one of theirs. A pit boss with sticky fingers. Ooh, some gold utensils, huh? Does Willie Bank know you're stealing his gold flatware, Neil? And double your salary. All in one night. What do you need me to do? <laughs> that was easy. There's never been a system like this. Now, I found out where they designed it, but I can't even get in the building. Well, not only am I nowhere, I'm pretty sure I'm being followed. <laughs> Damn. You're analog players in a digital world. You're done. Damn. Yeah, what the hell are they going up against? It's an artificial intelligence security system. Oh, AI? It reads every permutation in every wager in every seat in the entire casino, hand by hand. Jeez. Win is legitimate or expected. No way. Exabytes? You know what a terabyte is? Yeah, it's, uh, it's an exabyte is a million terabytes. Oh. That's a lot. Couldn't we just shut it off, you know, cut the wire? That could work. <laughs> magnetron around your neck. You know what a magnetron is? Something that screws up the Greco. <laughs> Real natural disaster, an actual act of God. But if we could, you can't. Could. You could. Don't flatter. <laughs> How long would it take to reboot? Three and a half minutes. Oof. Might be enough. Pick your natural disaster. Three and a half minutes. The building acts like a tuning fork. People inside will feel like an earthquake. What? There's your natural disaster. <laughs> Discreet. <laughs> if you don't think a 5.6 is possible, or even likely, then quite frankly, you don't know much. He's doing an Irwin Allen. He's not deaf. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even opened yet. What are all those people downstairs? Well, that's a soft open. <laughs> I'm not gonna close my hotel. Sir, if you'll just let me come in with my team and- oh, God. Put an evacuation plan on paper. Why don't you hit the tables? Oh, I don't gamble, sir. Neither should you, not with people's lives. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Baker. What's that? Right. And now we have a camera in Banks' office. Gotta pick his spirits up. When men have been in battle together, they are bonded like the flower and the soil and the sun. Ruben, I'm going to go ahead on and leave this. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. Pack your swimsuit. All right. No mustaches this time? I guess not. They're not both pushing this? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> I really hate to see you go, man. Let's go. First whale to leave? I think so. The gentleman in the trilby, sir. The Dr. Doolittle hat. Why don't you just say that? Really wants his five diamonds. <laughs> no, 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 no. Her Highness is a very... Oh, uh, okay. You see, I have to... Oh, oh, sorry. Hey, why does he no, get to go VIP. In... So what's that make me? This the real diamond guy? Yeah. Hello, Sam. Sorry for the wait. Welcome to the bank. 
They got it covered. Oh, right into 1706. Oh, huh? yep. Oh. oh. They fucked with that room so much. I think they need to be careful they don't kill this man. I know, right? Whatever they're doing. What the? It's gonna stink, maybe? Oh. Smells like... Well, well I, need, I need to move. Certainly, sir. I'll just see if we have anything available. <laughs> oh, working real hard. Her Highness is so very sensitive to smells. Ooh, someone else got a room. If you keep quiet, they're going to run away from us just for you, eh? That's all I'm saying. You got the best mission. Prefiero morir de pie que vivir lucharon. <laughs> I wish his mustache would like just fall off. <laughs> you just correct it. May I recommend one of our other restaurants? <laughs> this guy's probably never been turned away from anything in his life. <laughs> like, this is the worst hotel ever. No, I'm not going to put Danny on. Or Rusty. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Dad. In Blackjack, the uh, best score you can get is 21. It's called Blackjack. Oh, wow. And Blackjack's to all the players with a dealer bust. Um. Yeah, <laughs> they start practicing. Right. Oof. This is backwards. Uh, I'll keep working. <laughs> Yes, I'll have the dumplings and the shiitake mushroom tempura and a sparkling water. Oh, God. Oh, no. Are they going to make him sick? I just love how they can always just get positions. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's, uh, what is it, Night Fox? Yeah, they said the beginning. Did they? They called him, yeah. Or, unless I'm confusing him with someone else. I thought they said they were getting him. Room cleanliness. They're just like sand in the bed. <laughs> oh, maybe worse. What gear? Uh oh. <gasps> bed bugs? Hey, Linus, how's it going? Great. We're dead. <laughs> Tree in Mexico is offline. Offline. <laughs> oh no. I get details. It's just shut down. Feel like on strike or something. <laughs> <laughs> Revolution. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get back. What? What do you mean what? I'm having a little something for the effort. <laughs> a tip? We pool tips. The other guys are gonna think I'm kiting. Uh, okay. Alright, okay. <laughs> the tricone optimizers that feed into the nipple sleeve receivers. Jeez. If I tap the whole contingency, just over 10 million. How much is it? 30. 30? Damn. I gotta go up there and tell him that we failed and there's nothing we can do about it. Absolutely not. Mr. Reuben is a talking. Oh. He asked her for Mr. Danny. He's gonna be like, get thanks. <laughs> Rusty always has to be there. I know it's not a great idea, but it is an idea. And I think as long as we have one idea, we shouldn't give up. Just buying time at least. I was really hoping to avoid that this time. <laughs> Bringing everyone back. <laughs> yep. And you will double my investment. Double. I thought they weren't even getting really any money out of this. That monstrosity that bank calls a hotel casts a shadow over my pool. <laughs> but either you steal the diamonds or you find somebody else to finance your drill. <sighs> Another layer added. Well, then why weren't these diamonds on the agenda to begin with? Because it can't be done. I feel like he needs to get the one that he bought in advance. Yeah. It's not on display. So? I say I was walking away. Let's gut the son of a bitch. <laughs> if you're going to break him, break all of them. And December 06 plans are the same as Wait, March How 05. many sets of plans are there? That's 10. Jeez. <laughs> Did you say Mr. Wang was in real estate, Mr. Pimpin? That's right. Look. <laughs> what a nose. Jimbu, show how. Perfect. Man, the first movie he got put in a little box. 
You did the bullet train stunt with all of Asia watching. The elevators aren't faster than that. That was CGI. <laughs> I mean, you could pay somebody to read to him. Maybe you'll see his next birthday. Shit. <laughs> Laying it on thick. You made him feel so good. Oh, I don't know. That seems kind of fast. Oh, my God. Oh. Like Spider-Man. <laughs> Has to be. Oh, and they said anything over five? Yeah, I was like seven. I thought it was like timer, but it wasn't counting down. They built them a lot smaller back then. It seemed pretty big. They'll get it done. Yeah. I'm confident. Oh, a stack of letters. Seem to kind of work. Oh, is this the uh, five diamond guy? Yeah, I was like, I thought Ooh. he left. Oh. <gasps> so bad. What did he say about Samsung? He said he used to bowl with the owner of Samsung. Oh, <laughs> he's having a hard time. Yeah. I must have put Don't blame me. yourself. He should have fired you a week ago. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, that is very green. The Ace of Diamonds. I hope. Oh, I see what you're... <laughs> the real guy is just getting tortured. Okay, the guard by the main elevator shaft has a little Hitler for a son. Real riddle and sniffer. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Are you... What is he watching? Are you watching Oprah? Oh. <laughs> so he's crying. I mean, it's not just about the kids. I mean, I'm happy for the kids. Are they really going to build their new home? <laughs> Might as well just sit down, guys. I wonder if this is a real episode. <laughs> it's got to be. And how excited they were <laughs> to end up in this movie. What are you up to? Oh, I told him the nose plays. The nose does play. The nose plays. It's great. It's huge. Great stuff. Thanks. Hey, are you going to get the factory open? Hell yes! We just got a break! Oh my god. They keep treating us like this! <laughs> I gotta go! Are they going to get it open or are they freaking burning it to the ground? Oh my goodness. Yeah, Otega here. We had another incident with Manny and Ms. Kelso. Yo, 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 buddy, 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 buddy. Do me a favor. Cover my post for half an hour. That was not very difficult. <laughs> no, not at all. Eighteen inches. How big a deal is it if we don't get the diamonds? You have all your affairs in order? <laughs> that big of a deal? What, Sponder has access? Then we're in. Sp Sponders believe the term is cougar. It's not my term. I read about it in Maxim Magazine. <laughs> Just doing research. How much are we talking about? 36,000. How many workers? Not 36K per person. 36 total. Wow. It is a 5% increase. We'll write them a check. We'll post date it. <laughs> All this for 36,000. It's a big difference for them. <laughs> they won. I hope they get some air now. Back to it. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping we could, you know, keep it on the down low. Call me when you get this. Oh. He is stressing. Think he's gonna fall for this? You did. You ready? Damn. I was born ready. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive rights. Prime placement, center room, Vegas. Wow, that was so easy. <laughs> It's the egos. It always gets them. Oh, don't make a maniac out of me. This is all happening today? I think so. Just lost two dozen of our biggest players without an explanation. All the whales are gone. Thank you. Some good news. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? <laughs> well, she thinks it's good news. <laughs> This is a thank you for all that you've given me. The warmth, the chill. <laughs> Just cut the narration. 
Oh. <laughs> Just stab yourself in the face with a diamond. <laughs> I like seeing all the pieces in motion. I know. We never saw if that one guy came to help him. I know. I'm nervous about all of his equipment. Why are you guys running? I'm not that easy. You almost killed him. They'll need villas. Villas. Okay. So he just brought the whales back, I guess? Is that what he did? I think so. So he's just going to double dip? <laughs> Why not feel the rush? Come on, take a trip. <laughs> this poor guy. You've overstayed think... your reservation, sir. We need the room. Multiple standards of personal hygiene. I haven't disregarded my hygiene. Sir, sir I'm we're not, trying I'm to say. You. <laughs> 15 minutes, pack your things or why we will it? pack them for you. Did they already meet? Is that why he's looking the other way? I don't way? know. Here. Friend. Pack your things! Friend. Oh, okay. yes, yeah, he was the... Okay. At the restaurant. Oh, you're right, yeah. They played too many roles. Oh, is this the uh, the accelerant? Some pheromones or something? <laughs> that nose. I need the Asian villas. All the Asian villas. Perhaps you'd like to tell Mr. Wang yourself. <laughs> oh, God. When you work for a powerful man, sometimes the collar can get a little tight. Something in common. <laughs> Thanks, Holmes. That's just his hang tough. <laughs> That's his brother from the factory. Man, it must be cool to be a whale because obviously you're just so stupid rich, <laughs> but then you also get free stuff. The company's sending over a new machine. We know he's involved with Confederates. We just don't know who they are. I'm pressing charges. State and federal charges. Is this part of the plan? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> it's gotta be. Maybe it was whoever they called? Switch these out first. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's Roman. Anybody got eyes on Rusty? Just had to make a last minute pickup. Hi, boy. Hey, there you <laughs> Let's raise the minimum. I'd like to play all the seats. And they're fast with this. Is there another room? Oh, no, we're overbooked. Like somewhere, 40%. somewhere we can go. <laughs> overbooked? Please. Oh. Abby, take me. Oh, okay. Come with me. The diamonds? Oh. This is why we have soft openings, so things like this don't happen. Just touch his butt? <laughs> and I don't think we're gonna need the security cameras for this next part. Oh, uh, perfect. Oh. Do <laughs> you have any wine back there? I got everything you need back there. Even Bank is stressed. Oh, everyone. Send that to Bank's office. Uh oh. Just got us close. But what are they planning to do? He's supposed to be jumping over fireworks <laughs> or something. You've already been wired the money. Mr. Bank, this is, this is. You in yet? I hate that question. <laughs> what? Don't change it that much. Keep it the keep the structure. Which one are we calling? You're a midget in 34 states. <laughs> On the other 34. 24. 22. <laughs> Mr. Bank, can I just say one more thing? Perfect. You gonna jump? Jump it, baby! Yeah, I'm looking. Don't recognize any of them. Look, like he's going too fast. I don't even remember the sequence at all. Aw, 
far. <laughs> Go! So much money. Pupil dilation, elevated heartbeat, it's legitimate. Beat the system. Nice. He's like, oh my god. What was that? You felt it too. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, place your bet. Can only be one winner. But did it do what it was supposed to? Password looked way too easy. It's like three buttons, four buttons. We're getting interference on server one. I see on the explanation some kind of magnetron. Everyone in this room, empty your pockets. No! Just destroyed it. Security measures. Shuts down and reboots. Well, for how long? Three minutes and 20 seconds. Snake eyes. Time to start gambling. He brought it in there. We're rebooting. We're back up. Three minutes and counting. How much money can you lose in three minutes? People are oh winning my God. big. Got the machines working. Everyone's <laughs> cashing out. I'm free. <gasps> Come on, 11. Get them order. Got to rile the people up. Boys, I think our lucky streak just ended. Everyone quick, catch out. <laughs> He's loving this. So if they all these people go outside, are they gonna see they're the only place shaking? <laughs> I don't know. We gotta get back in! Sure, it's, it's the evacuation plan. I... The evacuation plan they put in. Feel my heart. Let me feel it. No, what? <laughs> oh boy. That's okay. okay. All, all right, right there. Uh, FBI. Oh dear God. AKA little Timmy Hartwell is a confidence man. Oh my God. No, oh, no, 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 oh. <gasps> Fake nose. <laughs> I am. I'll be delicate in my report. <laughs> I'm just glad your mother didn't have to see that. Yeah, you just don't want to admit the Brody played. <laughs> this is death. Oh. Just came out of nowhere. What the hell? What the hell? Give him the diamonds. I'm confused. I thought he was in on us together. The night? Yeah. No, no, I don't think so. I must have misheard it at the beginning. I just realized <laughs> his outfit blends in. <laughs> yeah, you didn't see. He's just like emerged from the... <laughs> Bye, Night Fox. You think you hit me? I got the hottest new hotel on the strip, and I'm a shoe in for the five time award. Oh, are you? Oh. Whoops. <laughs> First, I know all the guys that you'd hire to come after. <laughs> you shook Sinatra's hand. You should know better, Willie. Oh, jeez. <laughs> They can't break in, just take the whole thing. My diamonds. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, Night Fox. So I wonder if they're still gonna give Terry the diamonds because he tried to screw them. Probably not. How'd you know I'd go for him? Because you're you and I'm me. We were watching Tallur while you had him watching us. Oh, nice. You donated to charity. The kids are very grateful. They're gonna have you up to visit next month. <laughs> oh, how nice. Well, if you feel that strongly about it, then we'll yank the kids out of the camp and we'll send them back to their foster homes. Oh, jeez. You think this is funny? Well, Terry, it sure as shit ain't sad. <laughs> <laughs> Should've just gone along with it, Terry. <laughs> right. Why these children? Well, I was just... <laughs> is it Oprah? Uh, like I said, I was very moved by uh, that place. And... <laughs> Terry Benedict, we'll be right back. 
damn it. <laughs> well, I gotta jump. My dad's working a frame. He's got a part for me in it. Wow. Please, I gotta get out of here. Maybe. <laughs> oh, this poor guy. You drop these. Go ahead. I got a plan to catch. Actually, try this one. It's been paying out. Aww. I won! <laughs> I won 11 million dollars! Oh, dang! I can't believe it! <laughs> All right. That was Ocean 13. What'd you think? I loved it. Yeah. I was going to try to rank them, and I don't know if I can, but because I think that they all brought something different, but I feel like I really liked, I don't think nostalgia is the right word, but I really liked in the third film, this one, that they were able to bring back like so many characters. I mean, every film kind of had, you know, the same crew, but to have like the Night Fox in here yeah. and to just uh, bring Terry back, it just felt really cool to have everyone together. And obviously on this channel, we're also pretty big Al Pacino fans. Yeah. So to have him be like the villain in the film was awesome. I think the first one's the best one for me. And then I like 13 and then 12. I think what I noticed a lot when I saw 12, it's just, I didn't feel like I got a lot from everyone. There was a yeah. lot of people who didn't really do anything. Even like Bernie Mac spent like the entire movie in jail. Like he didn't, yeah. I, I don't know if people had like uh, scheduling, scheduling conflicts, conflicts yeah. or something, maybe that played into it. But this one, it really felt like everyone had a part and everyone played an important role. Mm -hmm. And they still somehow were able to bring back other people and make them feel like important. Even those like small cutaways to like Terry when he's just like watching along and like laughing and stuff. Yeah. Like, it, it just really felt like everyone played a great part in this like takedown. And then it was also cool to be back in Vegas. Yeah. My memory is so bad because I did not remember that Al Pacino was in this. <laughs> and I thought it took place in Monte Carlo. I think Monte Carlo. Like I thought it took place in like- uh, Not Vegas. Not Vegas. <laughs> like I thought, it, I thought they went somewhere else. I did not have the location or the villain. I did not remember that it was like a revenge story for yeah. Um, Ruben. Yeah, I think that the revenge aspect made it that much better too. Like the stakes were higher and Al Pacino was just such like a good asshole in the beginning that you were just really rooting against him. And then you like Ruben and to see him get so literally like hurt yeah. by what happened um, and getting screwed over, it made for like a more satisfying ending too. Oh, for sure. Because it's not just about like, oh, I want them to get money or something like, you wanted this guy to go down. So the like the three prong attack of losing the money, of taking the diamonds and the uh, like rating for his hotel. Oh yeah. It was just so cool to see all of it take effect. I guess we'll talk about the five diamonds. <laughs> that honestly might've been my whole, my like my favorite part of this movie was just everything surrounding the five diamond story to having the raider, I don't know, judge, yeah, um, sure. Guy, like, essentially uh, misidentified. So they're thinking, obviously, it's a different guy. Yeah. And they just mess with that poor man. Obviously, I felt so bad for him throughout this movie, but in the end, he gets 11 mil. That's That, that was an awesome ending. Yeah. Because you do feel bad. Like, he's just this poor guy getting tortured. Yeah, no, and it was... It was bad. Like, they... It wasn't even just like, oh, he didn't get good service, or oh, like, they didn't comp this or, oh, he didn't get the reservation, whatever. Like he was getting demolished every sense. I mean, his <laughs> sense of smell, then he just gets eaten alive yeah, by from the bed, bed bugs. bugs. He can't get on a flight out of <laughs> Vegas. Like there were so many things. Um, and he got even that moment with Al Pacino when he's like, I just want to say thanks for kicking me out. Right. For Al Pacino to be like, who are you? Which that's crazy too. It's like, you would think that it would be very anonymous yeah because like if they know who you are and they do everything to make it perfect well yeah i mean that's i think that's kind of why a lot of things that they say for like these type of ratings are like you can pay for it right but it was just cool that was able to happen that they were able to put saul in there yeah and he did get all this like fancy treatment yeah and i love that like you know, even he showed up at the very end because Al Pacino, as great of like a villain as he is, 
you know, he's there at the end trying to be all tough and scare Danny. Danny's just like looking at him with a smile and he's just like, first of all, you lost 500 million, so your board is going to kick you out. Yeah. I know all the people you're going to hire. They like me better than you. Yeah. And then Saul coming in and be like, hey, fuck your rating. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah. The other, I guess my next favorite part of this film uh, was the Matt Damon aspect. Yes. I mean, the fake nose was just so ridiculous. And I love that they played into that and how ridiculous it was. Um, some definitely cringy moments with that woman. And then to have his dad come in and kind of like rescue him from that moment um, and be all of a part of it with the Night Fox, all of that stuff. I just feel like it was so clever, but I like that it was self-aware enough that, because there was some crazy mustaches and <laughs> other disguises throughout this film that they didn't really like comment on, but the <laughs> nose. I, I totally forgot the one like it, it cuts to like uh Danny and Rusty and Danny has that like terrible mustache. I'm like why? No, there was a <laughs> um, no. There was a lot of terrible mustaches. But then there was the I feel like uh, Casey Affleck had a great and that was that was probably one of my favorite I parts. Forgot about I totally that. forgot the whole revolution. Cause he's just there and he's like, can we get some air turned on? And then they stop, like literally just stop production on everything. That was so um, good. Yeah, that no, was so good. And then, then the connection to the brother right. in Vegas. Right. So I feel like, I mean, there's so much story to this movie. Um, and obviously we had to watch it in parts here for us. So just like the more we're going through it, the more I'm just like, oh my gosh, there was so much that happened. Yeah, no, it does feel like they covered so much yeah. and nothing was really left out because the heist was really cool. Yeah. You get to see pretty much all of it, like mm -hmm. planned out and stuff. That's something I really liked about the first one. Yeah. It was that like, they pretty much lay out the whole plan and then yes. you just watch them execute it. Yeah. Uh, the second one, There's even a though- a lot of mystery. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, but almost you, you realize that like the whole entirety of the second movie is shrouded in mystery and you as a viewer don't even really know what's going on. Yeah. Whereas I feel like they go back to the first one a little bit. You're pretty well aware. There's still some like twists and turns here. Yeah. Like when uh, uh, Roman came in with like all of the machines. Yes, yeah, or the cell phone. The cell phone, yeah. Yeah. You at least knew like that was a fake cell phone. Yeah. But yeah. like the fact that it shut down everything inside, you didn't know that that was coming. Yes, yeah. Um, I loved, uh, like you said, with Roman and I loved uh, when Livingston got arrested and they're like having to change all the faces. Oh, that was great. Just really clever stuff mm -hmm. throughout the entire movie. Yeah. Uh, a great reason to go after someone. Uh, it was cool to see like the villain Terry come back from the first one. Yes. And even though they're like together, there's still like that villain aspect because he did try to fuck him out of the diamonds. Yeah, and then hands up on Oprah. Which that's <laughs> such a good like final twist. Yeah donating all that money, which was good. I mean, they used it for good. He yeah. shouldn't have tried to screw them over. He would have just got the necklaces, I'm assuming. I don't know. Or his part. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he would have gotten the necklaces if he, if uh, they didn't catch on that Night Fox was there for it. Yeah, because I mean, he wasn't like in it for the money in this one. This one's like, it was a revenge plot. Yeah. So that was Terry's fault. Which I also feel like this movie makes the second one better by just bringing the Night Fox back and then yeah. fucking him <laughs> again. Just to be like, God damn it, and throwing them in the trash can at the end. I was missing Julia Roberts and Catherine Zeta-Jones in this one though. Yeah, I didn't catch on too much of the dialogue. Obviously in the very beginning of the movie, they like are like, it's not their fight, it's not their fight. So it's like, that's them being like, hey, they're not in this movie. Yeah, yeah, obviously and, and stuff, but what I liked, like a little cameo or something. It would have been cool if they just showed up at the very end or something. Yeah. And I was trying to pay attention to the dialogue. I don't know if they broke, like did Rusty break up? They were talking about some trouble or something like that, so. Yeah, uh, I wasn't sure on the Rusty side. I think Julia Roberts and George Clooney were still together. I think so. But maybe it was just a little bit of like a rough patch. Yeah. Because he told them at the end there to settle down, get married, have kids. Hopefully that means with, what, what was her name? Isabel? Catherine Zeta-Jones. Yeah. I'm like 90% sure I did see somewhere where they were going to make 
or at least it's written for a fourth Oceans movie after this one that yeah. takes place after. Yeah. So it would be great if somehow we get the majority of the cast back. I unfortunately believe some of the cast is no longer with us, but the individuals who are, hopefully they can pay homage. Um, I believe it's Saul or Reiner, I think passed away. Bernie Mac too. Oh, you're right, Bernie Mac also. Yeah, so unfortunately some of the members have passed away, but hopefully they can, like I said, pay homage to them and then bring back everyone else who's been a part of a pretty great trilogy. Yeah, no, I really enjoyed the series. It was so good. I would definitely be down to watch another sequel and watch a prequel. Yeah, with that's supposed to be Danny's parents. I like this universe. So I'm really glad that we were able to watch these. Yeah, it's it's a fun universe. You don't really ever get too like stressed or worked up. No. You just have like a cool heist experience. Yeah. And that's about it. And uh, so it's an awesome time. I'm glad I was able to show them to you. I'm glad I was able to experience one for the first time and see them all again. Fresh was uh, a fun experience. Yeah, for sure. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.